Hi everybody, um, let me show you how to use my English Lab a little bit. When you log in, you will come to this page and you will be able to see the last things that you worked on and the next things to do on your list or you can quite simply go to your study plan and pick and choose where you want to go. Um, let's go to Unit 1 and Unit 1 has the grammar presentation uh, and the focus practice that I have made available to you. All the other sections uh, have been closed off, so you don't have to worry about it. The grammar presentation is always just all of the grammar notes and information that you need to get through this section. So here you see how to do the simple present as affirmative and negative, same thing with the present progressive, the forms of the verb. You've already seen them previously, so we don't go into a whole lot of detail. Then you see the grammar charts that explain the uses of each of the, the, the verb tenses, simple present, present progressive on the right. So you can have this. This will always be available to you as you go through the unit in case you want to come back and look at it or you have a question or whatever. Nice thing about the grammar presentation is that it will always be available it will only show what you need to know for this unit. If you think you have the right answer and you do not see it in the grammar presentation or in the grammar notes, then it is not a right answer. You need to be looking for a different answer that you will find in the grammar notes. Here you can pull down the drop down menu and choose uh, any option, but since there's only two, there really isn't a whole lot. Or you can just can choose to go on to focus practice and move forward. Here you can go through each of the sections of the um, exercises to go through. You have your, you can check your answers here at the bottom, and you use the arrow uh, at the bottom to move through. You can move forward and back as you want, change your answers, uh, and um, modify what you have done at any time. So that's how you use the grammar presentation or the focus on grammar with the grammar presentation and the focus practice. So there you go.